Hello and welcome to this ThingLink video where we will be looking at how you can create a ThingLink in some very simple steps. We'll also be looking at the different tag types that you can use and a couple of ideas for inspiration. When you first log into your ThingLink account, you'll see at the top the ever-present blue create button. Here you can upload the media that will form the base of your ThingLink. You can choose to upload an image, upload a video, upload a 360 image or a 360 video. The great thing about ThingLink is that whatever media you choose to use for the basis of your ThingLink, the process of creating your ThingLink is exactly the same. It has a unique unified authoring experience and this means that you only have to learn one particular process for any ThingLink that you'll create. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to upload an image. It takes me to a location on my device where I can choose to upload the media. For the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using a map image. ThingLink is used globally in many different contexts, but we do find that maps feature quite heavily in some of our most viewed ThingLinks. You'll see on the left, that I have an add tag button. Here I can add a tag and I can position it wherever I would like on the thing link. On the left, you'll see that I have four different tag types. I can add a text and media tag, and this can be any combination of text and media. I can add a very simple plain text label. I can add content from a website, and this might be a website itself, or it could be a web tool. I can also create a tour linking my thing links together. So we're first going to have a look at a text and media tag. And here I can add in images alone or even video alone using an MP4 file, or I can add a combination of text and images. So I'm going to add an image first of all, and I have a picture here. I can add another image here, and when I do, it will play those as a carousel. I'm now going to add in um, some a title. And here I can add in a description. The description forms the body of my text, and it is this text that opens up in our accessibility tool, Immersive Reader. This gives your viewers the option to add in their reading preferences and also tools for translation. I can also add in a call to action button. Here, I want to send my viewers to this particular website. And I can also change the call to action on the button to alert my viewers. I now want to think about what kind of icon I want to have for my thing link. And here I can change the icon into something which is really fitting for my tag. <clears throat> I can also here add in some audio if I wanted to, uploading an MP3 file, which would play when the tag was opened. I can even record my voice into this tag directly. So it gives you lots of multimedia options. When ready, click done. And here is my tag ready for me to use. The next tag I'm going to add is a simple text label. And here I can add in up to 100 characters of text. And I can also change the icon into something which is suitable for my tag. You can also, at any point, upload your own icons and create custom tags icons. And we have a video that you can have a look at, which will show you exactly how to do those. 
The next tag that I'm going to add is to add content from a website. I have ready a video that I would like to add to my tag and using the share feature, I can copy the URL and back in my thing link, I can click paste. And now I have a video that will play for the viewers and it will not include any adverts. Again, I can change the icon into something which is suitable for the tag. There. The last tag that I'm going to show you is very powerful because it enables you to link your thing link to other thing links. Not only can you link image thing links, but you could link an image with another thing link, which might be a 360 experience, or you could even link your thing link here to another thing link, which might be a 360 video. Here, I have the ability to choose a thing link, which I've already created. Again, I can change my icon to something fitting and suitable, show my viewers that I want them to click it because it takes them somewhere. When you're ready, you're the last step to have a look at is the settings icon. Here you can change your color scheme so that it fits in with the theme of your thing link. You can select tag animation and this makes your tags pulse. So it attracts your viewers to the tags. You can even upload audio here so that it plays throughout the whole thing link. When you're ready to share your thing link, you can click done. At any point, you can come back to edit any of these tags, simply clicking on the tag. When ready, click done. And here you can see my thing link is now ready to publish. There's just another step that I would like to show you, and that is to make sure that you've got your settings correctly. You here you can change the image title and select whether you want to share your thing link with an organization or with the public. If you want to go back and edit your thing link again at any point, simply click on the pen icon. I'm now ready to click publish. Clicking publish gives me the options to firstly embed media. By copying this code, I could embed my thing link onto another website and it will be interactive. So the thing will link will actually work. I can also share the link. This is really useful for linking in documents or on social media. I can publish directly to social media. And this gives me the option to link to accounts which I might have affiliated with my account. And it also includes Microsoft Teams integration. Twitter has an interactive view so that your viewers can actually view and interact with your thing link directly in your Twitter post. You can even download offline and this will work with Mac or Windows. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you a walkthrough of some of the ways in which you can create your tags for your thing link. Just before I go, I wanted to show you a couple of examples. Here is a very popular thing link that's been created to actually show some of the port restrictions during the COVID crisis. This is updated on a daily basis. And when the owner of the ThingLink updates the ThingLink, it updates automatically around the globe where it's embedded. Here you can see how the Tor icon links to other ThingLinks to show different types of country level views. The last one is incredibly playful. This is a map that's been customized with little pumpkins for a Halloween themed tour of a theme park. And it even has sound. So we hope that you've enjoyed this thing link video and it's given you a walk through of all of the steps to create your thing link. As always, please engage with us on social media and don't forget to reach out to us if you have any questions, we'd be happy to hear from you.